this is Richard again. I'm here to talk about um, better understanding of numbers in life. To understand numbers, I've come to realize that you have to understand shapes. You have to understand dimension. You have to understand. You have to understand uh, objects. The oldest form of math is is understanding shapes. That's the oldest form of math. Everything in our reality is based upon shapes. What I believe is that numbers should no longer be considered just um, a dimensionless um, form of uh, a dimensionless um, written thing on paper. All numbers have dimension. All numbers are geometry. All numbers are physical. Because again, everything in life has dimension, has depth, has geometry. When you think of number two, you have to think of it as though it's something that exists in reality. You think of number three, you have to think of some you, you have to think of we have to think of numbers as having some dimension. What kind of dimension do threes and twos have? When we understand geometry at the smallest level, then we can understand the true nature of mathematics itself, the raw mathematics itself. Then we can understand numbers. Then when we understand numbers, we'll better understand the Riemann hypothesis. We should probably think of numbers as as energy, forms of energy. Lots of forms of energy have dimension to them. We we have to think of we, we have to in, in order to understand Riemann hypothesis, we have to connect numbers themselves to shapes and geometry, algebraic, topology, all that type of math. We have to we we have to connect Riemann hypothesis to the Hodge conjecture. We have to connect the Riemann hypothesis and numbers to geometry and to other forms of, uh, of understanding shapes. Because shapes and numbers go hand in hand. Remember, the oldest form of math is understanding shapes. Numbers are just not formless things that we just write down on paper. When, we, when you write down a number on paper, that number exists in reality. That number is something that has dimension and geometry and shape to it. We have to connect them together, connect numbers to shapes, as though they are a shape. When we understand that, we can then create a better uh, solution and find a solution for Riemann hypothesis in understanding primes. We should think of numbers as a forms of forms of energy. All mass is energy, so we have to think of numbers as energy, and having dimension, and that they exist in reality. Then we can understand numbers and mathematics, the rawness of mathematics, and then we can better have a better look and reassessment of understanding primes and the Riemann hypothesis. And that's what I'm planning to do. And I, I would probably add that anyone else would follow that also. This is Rich Cispedes. Thank you very much.